Hello guys welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I will show you, how to fix game loop lagging problem. While playing games, like high ping, low FPS, crash, etc. So before we just get started, make sure you like this video. It takes so much effort to make videos. And also subscribe the channel, and share this to your friends. So let's get started after the intro. First open Gameloop emulator, and go to its settings. In the general, you can see four options. You simply uncheck first option, run as startup. Then check second option, hide advance watermark. Then also check third option, voice chat with friends. And uncheck Google installer. If you've got any error related to Google, it will fix it. Now click on engine and then click on DirectX Plus. Now here you can see four options. You simply check, Render Cache. And also check, Enforce Global Render Cache. And then uncheck, Prioritize Dedicated GPU. And check Rendering Optimization. Anti-aliasing should be close. In the memory, select memory according to your half RAM. For example I have 8 GB RAM. So I select 4096 MB. Processor means, how much core is in your system. To check how much core, simply open Task Manager. And click on Performance. Here you can see, I have 2 cores. So I will select 2 cores. In the resolution, select minimum resolution, 1024 by 576. Select DPI, 240, the recommend DPI for FPS game by game loop. Then click on game. In the gaming resolution, select SD 720p default gaming resolution. And in display select smooth. And then click on save. And restart your emulator. Now go to Task Manager, and go to Details. In the Details you can see AppMarket.x. Simply right-click on it, and set its priority to high. Make sure you never select to real-time. Then again right-click on it, and go to its properties. A new window pop-up, and click on Compatibility. Now check this, run this program compatibility mode for and change it to Windows 10. Now also check Disable Full Screen Optimization, and also run this program as an administrator. Now click on Apply, and then OK. Now we have to delete some temp files, which are slowing down your PC for no reason. Hit Window key plus R on your keyboard, and type TEMP, and then hit Enter and delete all the files. Now again hit Window key plus R on your keyboard, and type percent %TEMP% percent, and then hit Enter. And delete all the files. Don't worry these are only temp files. Now again hit Window key plus R on your keyboard, and type Prefetch, and then hit Enter. And delete all the files. If some files does not delete simply skip it. And don't forget to delete Recycle Bin. We are done with this step. Now we have to delete some startup programs. Open Task Manager and click on Start Up. Now start disabling the programs by right click and disable. By this your PC speed up boot time when your Windows boot. If you don't know what are unnecessary programs just leave it. 
Now download this file. Link is in description. Simply extract the file. After extracting you will get a folder. Simply open the folder. First you need to open Ultimate Power Plan folder. And simply copy the command line. Now go to search icon, and type CMD. And run this as admin. Simply paste the command. And you will see ultimate performance. Now close the window. And go to battery icon. Simply right click on it. And click power options. And now click on ultimate performance. And close the window. Now open that folder you extracted. And now install quick CPU. And now open it. And here select ultimate performance. And from here, set all these things to 100%. And also click on on battery option. And set all this to 100%. And then click on apply and then OK. Now again open that folder. And install Jet Clean. Simply open it and click on scan now. It will cleans junk files and unneeded registry entries to improve the performance of your PC. Reduces system errors and crashes by safely taking out all unused and old registry entries. And also helps speed up PC startup by rearranging applications that launch together with Windows. Shuts down programs that may slow down your system. Now click on Repair. And restart your PC to apply the changes. Guys if your lag does not fix, it means your RAM is low, or processor is also low. Then I will suggest you to buy a new RAM. So guys that's all for today. All the stuff are shown in this video is 100% safe. I hope you like this video, subscribe the channel, and share this to your friends. So guys take care, stay home, and stay safe, bye.